I have already published 9 videos about Mavic Mini, analyzing all the different aspects of this tiny drone. Please refer to any of them if you want to go deep on specific topics. I will post a link at the end of this video. The Mavic Mini is aimed by DJI in part to users who publish their footage on social media. And it must be said that the quality of the video just of the box is really excellent. So it is not surprising that DJI has included a simple and easy to use video editor optimized for uploading footage to social media. In this video I will show you how you can quickly edit your videos using this app directly for your mobile device. Note that it can also be used with footage shot with other drones or with a DSLR or mirrorless camera. So it is not limited to the Mavic Mini but can be used by owners of any other models of drone. Let's get going. But before we start, a word of advice for beginners in video. This app is strictly to be used on a mobile phone or tablet and is meant for a very specific purpose. Post the footage that we've just shot on social media as soon as possible, in case you do not have a computer with a real video editor available. Maybe you're traveling without a computer and need to post something immediately on Instagram before doing the serious post-processing when you're back home. Don't get me wrong, this little editor is really good for what it's meant for and great fun to use, but for obvious reasons it cannot even remotely be considered a substitute for a real computer-based video editor. After all, you are working without a real screen, no keyboard, no mouse, extremely low RAM and storage, and looking at an image barely bigger than a post stamp. So whenever you can, wait to be back home to your trusted computer if you need to do any serious work, or even just to evaluate your footage. But if you have no other choice and need to send your footage on the road as soon as possible, the good news is that this app is great fun to use and can produce decent results under the circumstances. After loading the DJI Fly app, tap on the icon album on the lower left. If you tap on the arrow next to the DJI Fly at the top, you will access all the images available in your device. I have uploaded a folder named Iceland with four video clips to be used for this tutorial. I do suggest organizing your files into relevant folders, otherwise it will be very hard to navigate. I also suggest avoiding very long videos, like several minutes, as it will take a long time to transfer and to process it. In most cases you will be using footage coming directly from your drone. You can download directly from the drone to your device, but it will be quite slow and will use batteries. If you can read the memory card on your mobile device, it will make things easier. I open my Iceland folder and we are presented with a choice of template or pro. Choose pro and we can select the clips we want to use in a specific order. I would frankly dismiss the template option. Then click on Add, and we are into action now. In most cases you want to add music to a short movie, and if you do it is very important to cut it perfectly to the bit. If we click on the music node on the right, we access the music library supplied with DJI Fly, which is actually quite good. And of course, you can upload your own music if you so wish. The songs are sorted by genre. Since I want to make something epic, I choose the epic folder and the song for epic movies. After selecting the song, tap on news to the right and we should be able to access a menu where we can visually mark the first bit of each measure to help us cut the video to the music. The problem is that at the moment it only works with iOS devices, but apparently not with Android. So you can only use it if you own an Apple mobile device. 
But for Android device, I found an alternative by using DJI Mimo, the app meant for DJI Osmo. I downloaded Mimo and launched it. Now I can choose my song, tap on news, and I have access to this menu where I can choose the rhythm symbol. I can play the song and add a dot at the first bit of each measure by pressing the icon. This helps enormously further on when we will be cutting the clips. Problem is that I would have to use MIMO for the entire editing and for some reason the image stays in vertical position instead of rotating with my tablet. For me to edit a post stamp size image in a vertical position is a bit too much. So I go back to the DJI app. So if you own an Apple device, you're in luck, but I'm sure DJI will fix this bug very soon. Apparently the same issue was in the first release of MIMO and was quickly solved. Let's go back to DJI Fly. After choosing my images in the Iceland folder and clicking on Add, we are in the main editing page, with the icon on the top selected. At the bottom we have the film strip. We can zoom in by swiping with two fingers. We can now play our clip to select the bits we want to keep. Let's say I want to cut this measure, so I position the playhead at the first bit and tap on the scissor. If I don't need the part at the beginning, I can tap on it to highlight it and then on the bin icon at the bottom to delete it. I start again and select the part I want to keep as the beginning of my movie. Up until here. After cutting, this time I will keep the remaining part of this clip as I might want to use it later on. Let's go to the second clip. In my opinion it is moving too slow, so I can tap on the icon speed and with the slider I bring it to double speed. I have now the choice to apply this speed to all clips, but it is not what I want so I simply tap on the tick on the bottom right. Now I advance and cut out this last little bit. I keep going on the next clip and I trim out the part I want to keep. In the last clip I would like to reverse the movement and have the camera revealing the sea behind the, the lighthouse clockwise. So I click on reverse and now the movement is towards the other direction. Again, I select the part that I want to keep and trim the end. Now, let's say I want to end with the second part of the first clip that I had kept. I can zoom out on the film strip by pinching with two fingers, tap on the clip to select it and drag it to the end. The yellow plus icon to the right of the film strip offers the possibility to go back to our media if we need to add some other clips, but it is not the case here. Note that as we cut our movie, the new length is displayed to the left, which is handy. In between each different clip, there is a black icon with a white diagonal bar. If we click on it, we have a choice of transitions that we can apply. We have Dissolve, Blur, Fade to Black, Fade to White, a bit too drastic in my opinion, and Swipe, which is particularly useful for photos. Let's go for Blur. Then we can choose Apply to All. Let's do it for this time. Even though we cannot fine-tune the length or the strength of the effect, these transitions are nice and easy to use. If we tap on the icon Tone below Cut, we access a menu where we can modify luminosity, contrast, saturation, temperature and sharpness. We can increase or decrease each value using this slider, and as usual we have the choice of applying it to all clip or just to this one. By tapping on the star icon to the right, we access a set of preset that we can apply to modify colors, pretty much like Instagram filters. You can play around with them and by double clicking on the preset it is possible to fine tune the intensity.
It is also possible to add a title to the movie. By tapping on the text icon, then title, choosing a text style, we can enter our title, in this case Iceland, and then we can choose one of the styles on the menu. When we're finished our masterpiece, we can click on this icon on the top right, select the resolution required, in most cases 1080p, to render the file. So, as you can see, a very simple app that can be really useful with footage or photo made with any drone or camera, in case you need to immediately upload the material just shot and don't have a computer available. Or perhaps also for people who are just starting out with video and do not own a computer yet. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye for now.